We back. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing. Here's the thing. Selena Gomez's new album, Revelación, comes out this Friday, March 12th, and it is her very first album in Spanish, and I am so flipping excited about it. I came across an interview with Selena and Zane Lowe, and she talked all about this album, what it means to her, the process of writing it, just how it is everything that she has been waiting to do for so long. And as a Latina myself, it just means so much to me to have her represent our heritage in this way. In this interview, she talked about how she was named after Selena Quintanilla, a very celebrated Mexican-American entertainer that I think just says a lot about Selena's, Selena Gomez's background and how she grew up listening to Tejano music and how she grew up in this very beautiful and very celebrated heritage that we haven't had the chance to see in her work yet. And being able to do that now, I think is just such just such something to celebrate. I wanted to bring this up because I think a lot of us have experienced something like this, where we have one foot in one world and one foot in another, and we have a really hard time trying to figure out what that says about who we are. Who you are as you is something and only something that can be identified in relation with God and who he says we are as his son or his daughter. And I think that is something that we just have to find peace in. I think our world constantly pushes us to identify as one thing over another, as somebody within certain parameters, as somebody in regards to that heritage, as somebody who was born in this place, as somebody who looks a certain way. And I just think there's something that's really toxic about that because it limits us. We have the freedom to acknowledge or deny different parts of who we are. But today, I just want to encourage us to find the beauty in accepting every part of who we are and how we were raised and the different heritage that we are familiar with and the different groups of people that we identify with, even if not 100%, and to simply just allow that to be and to simply find the beauty in that and the, di the beauty in the diversity of that, the beauty in the dynamic of that, the beauty of the context that has been assigned to our person, the beauty of culture, the beauty of seeing the Lord in these different ways, in these different settings, through these different kinds of music, and yet still be a part of one universal language, which is the human person, all made by the one creator. That's really all I had to say today. I am just super stoked for this album. There have been three songs from this album that have been released, and they are all Bomb. So would just recommend you go check it out. We'll link the interview in the description box below if you want to see that as well. And just wishing you guys a very, very happy Wednesday. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay holy, my friends. Continue to pray. Ask the Lord for peace because we need that in this world. And I will see all of you very, very soon. Okay, bye! <laughs> Uh, uh, Selena, where the love is.